Thank Let's get you. right to this new development. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Byron Yor, former and former economic advisor to former President Trump, Steve Moore. Okay, so gentlemen, it's good to see you. Byron, it's game on. Trump and Biden, they both clinched their nomination. But this is happening right now, Biden. Excuse me, Byron. <laughs> Biden got no bump. Byron Biden. Biden got no bump higher. Two new polls, Yahoo and ABC, say no bump for Biden even after the State of the Union. And Trump is either beating Biden or in a statistical tie. So, Byron, how much does, does the uncommitted vote against Biden over Gaza matter now? I mean, it's spreading into more states beyond Michigan. That could really hurt Joe Biden. Well, it does matter a lot. First of all, uh, we saw Democrats last week just ecstatic after the State of the Union address. They thought it was a home run. They thought Biden had put to bed the age issue. They thought all those problems were behind them. Well, they weren't. It didn't, it didn't do really anything on that score. Now, what we have is a very, very tight race. And we have had, in the number of states where there is an uncommitted option, a lot of Democrats uh, vote for uncommitted as a way of protesting uh, Joe Biden's support of Israel. So, that, I mean, that's a serious thing. As far as Trump is concerned, uh, he's just gotten off of an actual primary, a, a, an actual challenge to him by Nikki Haley. Uh, in Georgia last night, fewer than 5% of the people who voted on election day uh, voted for her. So that's probably behind him. But we still do have to look for people who might vote Republican, but just won't vote for Trump. Right. So what Byron just said, Steve, this is the big news in the polls. Trump is in a persistent lead, more so than the 2016 and 2020 races at this point. He trailed at this point. He's now leading. This new Yahoo poll, Trump actually went up to 46 percent against Biden after the State of the Union. Brand new poll from USA Today, it's Trump 40 percent to Biden's 38. But this is the big backstory, Steve. Axios reports new polling shows Democrats' advantage with black, Latino, and Asian American mm. voters shrunk to its lowest level in more than 60 years. You know, Steve, they could vote re Republican in numbers not seen since President Eisenhower. So Trump, he's got to stay on policy. He has to stay on policy messaging. What do you think, Steve? Exactly. You know, the problem for Joe Biden is there's just not enough of these overeducated college professors and, and people with advanced degrees. That's the base of the Democratic Party right now. And working class Americans, as you were just saying, Liz, are more and more inclined to vote for Trump. I and mean, Trump it really has, for better or worse, and I think for better, he has completely changed the republic in, into the party of working class Americans. The, the wealthiest and elite Americans are the ones who are for Biden. And look, I'm not too surprised by these polls because this is what the, every poll, Byron knows this, that every poll for the last 24 months has said people are upset about the direction of the economy. And even though the economy has gotten a little bit better, for a lot of Americans, it's still pretty bad. They're still underwater on yeah. their on their uh, incomes. And so uh, we want this to be about the economy. And by the way, we want to run against Joe Biden. So the fact that he yeah. got through that speech makes it more likely he's going to be the nominee. You know, it's a kitchen table issue, right? It's a kitchen table race. And a inflation, sure. inflation compounded under Biden is up 18.6%, Byron. But you, listen to this news coming in. Watch Vice President Kamala Harris breaking bad again, telling everyone, move along, nothing to see here about the economy. Watch this soundbite. Rent is up yeah. in like 47 of the 50 biggest cities in the country. Like, how do you fight the bad vibes? And then how do you... Yeah beat Donald Trump with such economic headwinds. No one wants to hear an econ lecture, and I appreciate that. We have actually corrected a lot. <laughs> she, did, she didn't want to hear that, Byron. No one wants an economic, economic lecture, anchor, host, person. Don't talk to me about the economy. I don't want to hear. Byron, how is this going to play? Because Gallup, Quinnipiac, Monmouth, Americans do say they want yeah. the economic lecture. Inflation is the number one issue. And then Vice President Harris thinks they've corrected a lot. Really? Well, they, they obviously haven't because inflation is a cumulative uh, thing and prices mm -hmm. have gone up and continue to go up. So they, at the grocery store, they have not gone down. You know, you were just discussing uh, black Americans, Hispanic Americans, their vote and support 
uh, for Biden. And obviously for a Democrat to win the presidency, that support has to be really, really high. And it is not right now for Joe Biden. And there's one reason is that black Americans and Hispanic Americans and all other Americans go to the grocery store. They also pay <laughs> rent. And so th those are the those are the reasons that he's not doing well in minority communities. Yeah, exactly. They're the same you as the what? reason but, he's not doing well overall. The wake up call has been ringing off a hook for 35 months now, Steve. Inflation mm -hmm. is stuck above 3%. You know, Steve, the big what Byron is saying, the big argument the Biden White House made regarding inflation Though it's transitory, just a passing thing, don't worry. No reasonable economist will ever say that it, it's it, transitory. It's notoriously sticky. Let's watch Ever Lawrence, our own Ever Lawrence, talk to Treasury Secretary Yellen on this. Watch. So uh, you, in 2021, you, though, you did say that inflation was transitory. Do you, do you regret saying that now? Is I regret saying it was transitory. Um, it has come down, but I think transitory means uh, a few weeks or months to most most people. Okay, it's trending down. Okay, you know what, Steve? It's almost baroque. The word twists and turns. <laughs> Nobody believed it when they said it. Nobody believes that it's coming. Yes, it's trending down, but everyone sees that it's stuck near 19 percent now. Steve, final word. Yeah, that's right. And, and by the way, the news we got yesterday showed it trending up a little bit. Uh, but, you know, the most the other big important news here is that if I were advising Joe Biden and I'm not, I'm, I'm helping Trump. But if I were, I'd tell Joe Biden, run to the middle, sound like you're a centrist, sound like you're, you know, in, getting those independent voters. Instead, his, he comes out with a seven and a half trillion dollar budget and a five trillion dollar tax increase. That's running way to the left. Uh, that's not going to appeal well, to middle class it. voters. You know, it's, they, they blew yeah. it. They went too far left. They went way yeah. too far left, crashed the Democrat Party. And yep. who knows if it could come back. We'll see in the election. Byron York, Steve Moore, thank you so much. It's good to see you, gentlemen.